If you're familiar with the Audio-Technica LP120X USB already, well it's just got even better. Say hello to the new LP120X BT USB with Bluetooth. It's Jonathan from Smart Home Sounds, a home audio retailer based in the UK, and we specialise in making content like this so you can make an informed purchase on your next audio setup. We also offer a 30 day money back guarantee if your item is not quite right for you, so you're fully covered with your purchase. Today we've managed to get our hands on the brand new Audio Technica LP120X BT USB Bluetooth turntable. So we're going to be reviewing what's new with this turntable compared with the existing LP120. Com commenting on its pros and cons and answering the question like we always do, is it worth its price tag of £289? So let's get into it. Now you might notice that this new turntable is almost identical to, to the existing LP120X USB available for £239, which has proved to be an extremely popular turntable for general music listening due to its great variety of features and the controls for the price that you pay. Now this new LP120X BT USB, besides being a bit of a mouthful, adds Bluetooth connectivity. So it's the first Audio-Technica turntable that offers the choice between using a hardwired RCA connection or a wireless Bluetooth connection, which gives you more options not only in terms of control, but in terms of your speaker placement too, as you don't necessarily need to position the speakers within cable range of the turntable. The LP120X BT USB uses Bluetooth 5.0, which offers a reliable Bluetooth connection. And in our testing, connection was quick and we tested the range from one end of our office to the other, which is roughly 10 to 15 meters and there were no problems at all. I'll come back to this later on in the video. Up until now, if you wanted an Audio-Technica Bluetooth turntable, your only option would have been the LP60X BT, which is a great turntable, but it's in their lower class of turntables and it didn't have the USB conversion ability. Now we have the same appearance with the addition of this little Bluetooth button and feature set that we love from the more improved LP120 model, but with Bluetooth as an added option for an extra £50 on the standard version. Now this is great if you were interested in the LP120X but didn't want to necessarily rely on a hardwired connection. So now that we've covered the main difference between the existing LP120X USB, let's get into the design of the turntable itself. Now Audio-Technica are a Japanese company and they specialise in phono cartridge design for the last 50 years, so they really know what they're doing. Now this turntable is no exception as it features an anti-resonance die-cast aluminium platter with a felt mat and a matte black plinth. Now this design on the outside of the platter, Audio-Technica calls stroboscopic. That did take me about five takes to say. <laughs> Just leave it in. Now what initially drew me to uh, this turntable is this distinctive S-shaped tone arm here which is fully manually operated and it features the high performance AT VM95E cartridge which is fully upgradable to any cartridge in the VM95 series which is a great future proofing feature to have if you want to get more out of it longer down the road. Uh, although this VM95E is a pretty decent cartridge anyway. The turntable features a direct drive motor, so there's no rubber belts and to switch between 33 and 45 RPM you can use this button here and it will even run um, 78 RPM by pressing both of these buttons at the same time which is actually quite rare at this price point and it does mean that you can listen to any vinyl records on this turntable. Another notable feature of this turntable and the Audio-Technica range in general is its built-in switchable phono stage or preamp which means that you can either connect this directly to your powered speaker or amplifier of your choice and then choose to turn on the built-in preamp using the line switch here or turn it off if you're using your own preamp by using the phono switch here. Now if you're not sure what a preamp is, it's a little box completely different to a normal amplifier, sometimes built into the turntable and sometimes separate, which amplifies the signal from analog to line level, so that digital speakers can output the sound at a good level, so it is essential if you'd like to listen to your turntable audio through a speaker or amplifier and speakers without a dedicated phono stage. Now this turntable gives you the choice of whether you want to experiment with your own preamp, as hi-fi enthusiasts will agree that it does play a part in sound quality, 
or whether you go for the convenience of plug and play and use the built-in preamp, so the choice is entirely up to you. If we have a look at some of the other features on it, you've got pitch control here to give you more control of your records. Um, another unique feature on this model is the stylus target light, which helps highlight the breaks between tracks in low light settings. Also, this USB output is also very handy if you'd like to convert your records to digital audio files that you can then listen to on your other devices if you so choose. Now all you would need is a bit of free recording software such as Audacity to do this. They even give you a USB cable in the box, plus a dual RCA cable to connect to your chosen audio component. As Bluetooth is the new feature in this turntable, let's find out how easy it is to connect to a Bluetooth speaker, and for this I'm going to connect it to the Bowers & Wilkins Formation Flex. So to pair a new speaker with the turntable, what you're first going to need to do is make your speaker discoverable. So whether that's by a button um, or in the Formation Flex's case, I need to go into the Formation app and then press uh, the name of the room and then pair a new device. So now I can see that the light is now come on, it's ready to be discovered by the Audio Technica. So then what you need to do is just um, tap, uh, hold down um, the Bluetooth button for four seconds and then it will start flashing blue. And then it should, and there we go, it's automatically connected and you're ready to start playing vinyl through the Formation Flex. Now once connected to a device, when you turn the turntable back on, it will reconnect to that device so long as it's switched on and in range. If you want to switch to another device, maybe another Bluetooth speaker, you just need to go through the process that I showed you earlier. Setup is also simple when connecting to headphones too, and I'll just add that it was a really enjoyable experience listening to my vinyl records on my headphones, and I can see this being a really nice way of roaming freely, enjoying your vinyl without having to be sat in the room with a turntable. We won't be doing a sound test in this video unfortunately for a few reasons. Firstly, for copyright reasons, we can't demo any of our vinyl records, but more importantly, while the LP120 models do offer great performance, the sound output is hugely impacted by the speaker or speakers that you decide to go for. Instead, let's move on to our recommended speaker pairings, as this turntable doesn't come with speakers built in, so you'll need speakers to connect it up to. Now the beauty of the addition of Bluetooth to this turntable is that you can connect a huge range of speakers with it, from high-end speakers such as the KEF LS50 to the likes of the Bowers & Wilkins Formation Flex or the Marshall range of Bluetooth speakers such as the Acton 2 or the Stanmore 2. On the other end of the scale, you could also connect the cheaper portable speaker from brands like JBL and Ultimate Ears. Obviously, any Bluetooth-enabled speaker would work with this turntable. However, as this is in the mid-range turntable territory, I would say that you're best pairing it with mid-range speakers to get the most out of your setup. Another option would be to connect a pair of headphones to the LP120X BT USB to enjoy your vinyl records wherever you are in your home. Now, we tested the turntable with the Bowers & Wilkins PX7s and the PX5s, which did sound great, and we were really impressed with the reproduction of audio over Bluetooth. Of course, you can use any Bluetooth headphones that you like. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this turntable uses Bluetooth 5.0, and we put the range to the test in our office. Now, I've been working upstairs with the PX7 headphones on with the LP120X BT USB downstairs in our filming room, which is probably a distance of around 10 meters, and playback has been consistent with no problems or cutting out. Personally, for us, this is where we think this turntable will be a great option for users. So we can see users hardwiring this turntable to their main speakers, but with the added flexibility of Bluetooth, it's now possible to listen to your vinyl on a pair of Bluetooth headphones in any room of your home. And it also adds the possibility of listen listening on other Bluetooth speakers in another room. If you're looking for a line-in option, then options from Audio Engine and Marshall are an affordable place to start. If you'd like a more powerful and comprehensive setup, I'd also recommend looking at the Sonos 5 wireless speaker. Now, as this is a Wi-Fi speaker, it forms part of the Sonos ecosystem, which lets you build up a home full of music. So if you like the idea of being able to listen to the turntable audio in multiple areas of your home at once, you would connect the turntable directly to the speaker via an RCA to 3.5 millimeter jack, and then you're all ready to start playing vinyl. One useful feature of the Sonos 5 is that it has a line in autoplay. So that means the speaker can detect when the needle has hit the vinyl, and it will automatically output the turntable audio with no additional button pressing required. However, Sonos doesn't support Bluetooth connectivity, so if you're looking for a setup that solely uses the Sonos 5 connected via the line-in, then you'd be better off saving yourself £30 and opting for the LP120X USB standard model, as you wouldn't be making use of that added feature. 
The final setup that I'd recommend with this turntable is if you're looking for an analog two-channel system and perhaps you're not interested in wireless streaming, you just want that raw turntable experience. Now this is a great mid-range turntable for a beginner hi-fi setup and you could use this in conjunction with an amp such as the newly released Riga IO plus a set of Bowers & Wilkins 607 bookshelf speakers for example. This would give you the ability to upgrade the amp, the turntable or the bookshelf speakers in the future so that you can experiment with analog audio. If you wanted the option of streaming but you still want to keep that two channel stereo setup, you could use something like a Sonos amp or if you wanted the ability to stream high res, the Blue Sound PowerNode 2i would also be a great option. Again, if you'd only be using the line-in connection, you might want to opt for the LP120X USB unless you think you might take advantage of that added Bluetooth option in the future. For example, as mentioned earlier, you might opt for a more permanent line-in connection for day-to-day -day listening, but want the option to listen on either a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphones to enjoy your vinyl records elsewhere in your home. So who is this turntable right for then? If you're looking for an easy-to-use mid-range turntable that is very well built and comes with a wireless Bluetooth option and USB conversion ability, the LP120X BT USB is a very credible option, particularly considering the success of the LP120X USB, which customers have found to offer exceptional value for money. You only need to look at the reviews online. I would say there are some more minimalistic looking turntables available, such as the Audio-Technica LP5X for £349, or their newly released LPW50PB for £379. Or I would also recommend looking at the Riga range, such as the Planner One Plus, which offers a more raw vinyl listening experience as they're belt driven and they don't come with any pitch controls or other buttons. It doesn't offer Bluetooth, however, and it is purely hardwired to your speaker. So let's do a quick roundup of the positives and negatives of the Audio-Technica LP120X with Bluetooth then. Now bear in mind these are not going to be positives or negatives for everyone and with this kind of purchase a lot of it comes down to personal preference. The positives are that it has a really solid construction, it has a switchable preamp which is very useful and you also have the choice between a hardwired or Bluetooth connection so it's going to appeal to a much wider audience and unlock many more speaker choices. It's also nice to have the option to switch between using the line-in or Bluetooth depending on your listening needs. However, the negatives might be that it's not quite as lifestyle looking as other turntables as there are quite a lot of different buttons and controls. We did find that the turntable dust cover can get scratched quite easily so you do need to be very careful when you're unpacking the turntable. Finally, this is not a DJ turntable so if you're looking to scratch your records you'll need to upgrade to Audio-Technica's DJ turntable, the LP140 XP for £349 but that doesn't have Bluetooth and it relies on purely a hardwired connection. We have this ready to order on our website, so if you think it's going to be the turntable for you, definitely take a look. And if you have any further questions or need more help comparing turntables, please get in touch with one of our specialists and we'd love to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.